Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be showing you how to add packages to your Meteor site. Now, packages like NPM packages or Ruby Gems or anything like that can encapsulate functionality that you can just drop into your site, and some things can maybe modify the build process. For instance, adding something like an auto prefixer or allowing you to use a CSS preprocessor, or even it's going to be additional functionality throughout your Meteor development. So packages are a great way to add really advanced stuff to your site without you having to build it from scratch. So let's get started right now. Okay, so this one is not going to be too hard. What we want to do is we want to use a package. Now there's tons of packages available in Meteor and you can actually find them by uh, going to atmosphere. So if we type in atmosphere.js the first website you're going to get is atmospherejs.com. I'll make sure to put a link to this page in the comments of the video or the description of the video so you can go ahead and just click on it from there. Uh, what you can see here is that we have this explore meteor packages and we have trending packages, we have recent packages, and we have most used packages, top searches, all sorts of stuff in here. And these are all sorts of ways that you can extend the functionality on your Meteor site. So like I said, it could be adding things to the build process, um, it could be a CSS preprocessor, or we have something like Iron Router here, which is routing, and it's, it's really the best routing package for Meteor, and allows you to do all sorts of cool stuff with routing, um, changing your templates, and, and pretty much anything that you'd expect from other frameworks can be handled inside of Iron Router. It's really great. I use it all the time. We also have things like accounts password, accounts UI, uh, bootstrap, less, send emails, underscore, uh, coffee script. There's a lot of good stuff in here, and in fact, uh, it takes some time exploring and, and sort of learning uh, what's here, but I totally recommend just coming in here and trying to add things to your project, following their readmes, and just experiencing these packages. So I'm gonna actually come up top here because the package I wanna add is to add Stylus. Now, if you haven't used any CSS preprocessors, I think Stylus works really well with Meteor. Uh, it's really great because the, uh, um, the language can be written as minimal or as much like CSS as you'd like, and it has a lot of really great features. In fact, if you're interested, I'm doing a series on uh, Stylus at this very moment on Level Up Tutorials, so you can head to the YouTube channel and check out that tutorial series if you're interested. I highly recommend it. So. I can type in stylus. Oh, okay. Chrome's going to ask me for some context. I'm going to type in stylus. And as you can see, there are a few stylus packages. And I've used a lot of these. However, the one I like the most is stylus multi. Because what this includes is it doesn't just include uh, stylus itself, but it also includes nib, which is a CSS3 package that includes a whole bunch of really great utilities. Uh, auto prefixer, which auto prefixes so you don't ever have to type a CSS uh, prefix. Jeet, which is a really great grid system. I'm going to be doing some videos on Jeet soon. Rupture, simple media queries, and access a ton of awesome functionality. So uh, what we can do is to add this is simply by running a single command, and that is meteor add and then the package. And you'll see every single atmosphere page has this command up top here. You can go ahead and copy this and then head to your terminal. I'm going to change directories into the root of my project. And from the root of the project here, I can just paste this in here, Meteor add and the name of the package and hit enter. As you can see, it's going to download the package. And once it's all complete, you're even going to see the uh, Meteor server up here. It's going to let you know that it has officially added the package. Okay, so we have the stylus multi package added, and that's really cool. Let's see what we have to do to actually implement something. If we come to our page, refresh, everything is fine. So you can tell it didn't break anything, right? So let's actually come to our code, and the first thing I'm going to do is come to our resolutions.css. To make sure this is working, all I really want to do is click right click on here and click rename. Now I'm going to type in dot styl, which is the stylus extension. So resolutions dot styl instead of resolutions dot CSS. Now again, if we save this, come to our page 
hey, you know, nothing's changed, so that's great. So let's go ahead and actually make some modifications. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting rid of some of our brackets in here. Let's say I'm gonna delete these HTML brackets and we're gonna do it just with uh, indenting. So just like that, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, HTML border size, okay. And just to add something else, I'm gonna come in here to body and do the same. Okay, so now I'm going to change the background to just red, so it's gonna be painfully obvious. And let's head back to our site. And as you can see, we have a super red background immediately. And let's again, let's just uh, make sure this is in fact working, blue, and we have blue. Cool, so this is really super cool because uh, if you're used to working with any CSS preprocessors and other systems, you might have to set up a gulp task or a grump task, or you might have to just tell your CSS preprocessor to watch your files. If you'll notice, we have in the left sidebar here, you're never gonna see any CSS files. In fact, you don't ever get to witness the compilation and have that CSS output because you don't need to. Uh, the one of the things I really like about using a CSS preprocessor like Stylus and Meteor is that it just sort of obfuscates the fact that CSS even exists. And we can just write our CSS in Stylus uh, just like we would if we were writing normal CSS. So for me, that's a huge, huge, huge upside. And in fact, you can, uh, just like a normal stylus or SAS or any of that stuff, you can create folder structures, you can uh, import files and stuff like that, and it's absolutely no problem. And likewise, if we wanted to use one of those packages that came with this uh, package here, this stylus multi, you can just do add import, and then nib, just like that and now it's going to be using nib. So just like that, we've added a ton of really advanced functionality into our project. We have a grid system, we have uh, uh, media queries, we have some CSS3, we have auto prefixing, everything simply by downloading one package. And that's really the usefulness of these media packages. They can just really help out and take some of the weight off of you when you're developing. So check it out. Let me know what kind of cool packages you use. Uh, there's a lot of really great ones. If you find anything, feel free to share it in the comments. We'd love to hear that. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.